Morning, afternoon or evening to you all. It's another Fletch Talks video and today's topic is the Champions League group stage draw. Yesterday the draw was made for the group stages and there are some pretty interesting and tasty groups to look forward to. Of course the English teams were the ones to look out for from my point of view along with many others. Manchester City were placed in pot 1 whilst pot 2 contained Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspurs. And last season's runners-up in this competition, Liverpool, were placed in pot three, with a big possibility of being placed in a group of death situation. So, without further ado, let's begin and let's look at each group individually. Group A consists of Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid, along with Borussia Dortmund, Monaco and Club Bruges. Atletico should be the one team in this group that definitely qualifies from the group stages in this group by topping the group. And whilst Dortmund should also progress with them, don't count out Monaco, who could progress instead. Whilst Bruges aren't expected to challenge for qualifying and are also unlikely to fall into a Europa League place either. Group B will see Lionel Messi's Barcelona take on Tottenham, whilst PSV and Inter Milan, who are back in the Champions League following a six-year absence, have also been drawn into Group B. The tie of Barca vs Spurs is one to look forward to. Those two teams should be the ones to progress up to the round of 16 stage. Then it's a bit of a toss up for who goes into the Europa League out of PSV and Inter. Group C consists of PSG, Napoli, Liverpool and Red Star Belgrade. This group could have been better for the Reds but it also could have been a lot worse. PSG will be an exciting test, whilst Napoli is always a tough place to go and will always be a tough test, whether it's home or away, for that matter. I'm pretty confident Liverpool will progress along with PSG, whilst Napoli will fall into the Europa League place and Belgrade will be there just to make up the numbers. Group D has Lokomotiv Moscow, Porto, Schalke and Galatasaray. On paper, this group doesn't seem an exciting group as far as the lack of quality on show in comparison to other groups, but it could be interesting to see who will go through to the knockout stages. Moscow and Porto seem the favourites to go through here, but Schalke could easily overtake either of them, as to me it seems a very open group. Group E is Bayern Munich, Benfica, Ajax and AEK Athens. The German side are clear favourites to top the group and progress as they should. Benfica should also qualify alongside them as they usually do in some capacity, whilst Ajax will fall into the Europa League stage. Uh, this group should be fairly predictable with very, very little surprise. Group F contains Manchester City, Shakhtar Donetsk, Lyon and Hoffenheim. It shouldn't be a group that causes City too much trouble and they should progress fairly comfortably. Uh, they won't be liking the long trip to the Ukraine though when they face Shakhtar. As for who progresses alongside them, it should be Shakhtar, but I won't be too surprised if Leon beat them to second place. Group G contains the most successful team in this competition in Real Madrid, having won it on 13 occasions and are going to be in pursuit of their fourth Champions League title on the bounce. Also alongside them we'll see Roma, CSK, Moscow and Victor Plezen. Uh, this group should be pretty easy to call. Madrid and Roma will advance to the knockout stages. Moscow should fall into the Europa League places. And Plezen should be the whipping boys of this group, you'd think. And finally, Group H consists of Juventus, Manchester United, Valencia and Young Boys. The story of this group will be the Cristiano Ronaldo's return to Old Trafford when his new side Juventus take on United. Juventus should top the group and then it's a toss up between United and Valencia as to who progresses with them and who falls into the Europa League place. On paper it should be United who advance but depending on how bad the issues are currently at Old Trafford and whether they will continue to snowball or not. Valencia could very well take advantage and beat United to that qualification spot. And that rounds up the Champions League group stage draw for the 2018-2019 season. Guys, I'd love to read your comments in the section below on what do you make of the draw, who will progress, who do you think will overachieve, who do you think will underachieve, and most importantly, who do you think will win the 2018-2019 Champions League? 
Otherwise, guys, hit that like button on the way out if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this or anything else on my channel. Thanks for watching. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video, and I'll see you all in the next video.